College Street, Burnett Lane, Lindsay Road. If you are in the city of Covington, it's on you now. This is a radar indication that there is rotation in the clouds that could very quickly produce a tornado. When Arkansas, you have got, got, got to be in your tornado safe place this second. Snow to the north in Kansas City and Des Moines, Iowa this morning. Severe weather continues to our south in Alabama. I found a student that made his own oh, tornado no, in a bottle. And this afternoon, we're going to be nearly 70 degrees, so a very warm day today. If you take a jug of hot water and throw it up in the air, it actually instantly turns to steam. We do have rain tomorrow. Today, though, is the day you want to go ahead and get your errands done. That even if that line can come just a little bit further south, we could be talking about some wintry weather next week. Yeah, it was nice this morning. It feels great, but I'll tell you what, it sure does not feel like the middle of February as you're walking out the door. It's hot, it's humid, and that's leaving a lot of parents saying, well, how can I keep the kids entertained and keep them cool? So it will look like it's raining, but it's actually going to freeze into a sheet of ice as soon as it hits the ground. Tributaries and smaller rivers that filter into the Mississippi River at some point or another. It might be a little muddy, but uh, we'll make it a good time no matter what. Just bring that rain gear. And walk on the concrete. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right here. <laughs> but if these storm energy ingredients can get in a little sooner, some of the storms could pack a little bit of a punch. Right now, the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, it's 540 on this Tuesday morning. Temperatures are starting off on the cool side, but not nearly as chilly as it was yesterday. 46 right now in Memphis. We were 26 this time yesterday, 43 in Covington and Somerville, 42 in Wynn. Corinth, the cool spot, they're checking in at 37 degrees this morning. Radar is starting to pick up some light rain in eastern Arkansas especially, but that is all moving off to the northeast. So uh, Memphis, we are going to be seeing some of that light rain here in the next little bit. In fact, already seeing some spotty showers down in DeSoto County uh, near Lake Cormoran and Walls headed up towards South Haven, uh, the airport area. And again, Metro Memphis going to be seeing some of that light rain here in the next little bit. It is not going to rain all day today, and any rain is going to be on the lighter side, but we will see some spotty often on showers through the day today. High temperature is going to be in the 50s with a breezy southerly wind up to around 10 or 15 miles an hour at times. Here's what the radar is going to look like on the hour by hour forecast. Again, some light spotty showers this morning. The best chance of rain today is going to come in after lunchtime. Here's noon. See some steadier rain in eastern Arkansas. That rain moves across the river into western Tennessee by 2 or 3 p.m. But again, at any point through the day today, we could see a little bit of light rain. Dinner time likely going to turn out dry and most of the nighttime looks dry. But by this time tomorrow morning, we will see a little bit more rain for your Wednesday morning commute. But most of Wednesday will turn out dry. That rain moves out pretty quickly by tomorrow morning. So here's what you need to know. We are going to have some light showers today. Not going to rain all day. Uh, but some showers here or there likely uh, as we go into the afternoon, especially temperatures are starting to warm up. In fact, it's a warm front that's bringing us these showers. It's going to be bringing in warmer temperatures tomorrow, but the warm weather is going to help to fuel some thunderstorms by Friday. That's going to be our next big weather maker. We're going to have this cold front come in uh, Thursday night, but really by Friday, we're going to start to see some heavier rain and thunderstorms develop, especially in the afternoon and the evening on Friday. And we do already have have a risk of severe weather in place. That yellow area is the area that the Storm Prediction Center has outlined with severe weather being possible. Heavy rain, definitely a concern, but some strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. Again, that's not until Friday, but I just want to give you that early heads up Friday into Friday night for those storms so you can kind of make your plans around uh, that chance of storms. Today, we're going to see some spotty showers. Again, it's not going to rain all day. Highs in the 50s. 71 tomorrow. Most of the day will be dry. 77 Thursday with a mix of sun and clouds. That'll be nice. Again, storms likely Friday and Friday night. Saturday looking good with some sunshine. Most of Sunday okay too, but we'll look out for a little bit of rain late Sunday night into early Monday morning.